So we've gotten a ton of questions about our new remote training program. So today, myself and our corporate training manager, Bob Gubanich, are gonna break down the gear that you need to access it and what you and your students can expect while participating in our online remote training program. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Devin and welcome to the Lifting and Rigging channel. If you're new here, welcome. I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that we make each and every week. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for your continued support. And remember that if you ever have any questions or if there's anything that you're not sure about, don't hesitate to ask that question in any comment section of any place that you're watching this video. We'll get you answered as soon as we can. While our trainers and inspectors are more than happy to follow CDC guidelines to safely support you and your business on location, there are times where some of your workers might still be remote or you just might be uncomfortable bringing in new outside personnel into your facility. And that's why we launched our remote training program. So today, our corporate training manager is gonna break down what you and your workers can expect while going through the remote training classes. He's gonna cover the advantages to remote training, the methods of engagement for the students during the class, and give an overview of all the training modules that you'll learn from. But first, we need to talk about the equipment and the setup that you'll need in order to pull this off. Method one, you can use a conference room or multiple conference rooms to allow your team to observe social distancing requirements. Make sure that each conference room is equipped with a computer, a camera, a microphone, speakers, and a large TV or projector to view the training. Method two, have your employees join from their home or workstation computers. Each workstation or computer should be equipped with a camera, a microphone, and speakers. Or you can do a combination of both. While having your crew use their home or personal workstations, you can have other members of your team join from a conference room. The important thing is that your crew has the ability to talk to their trainer and the trainer can talk to them. So now Bob's gonna take you through an overview, some advantages, and some expectations. Uh, some of the advantages are uh, potential cost savings. Sometimes somebody will need training at a remote location. It may be expensive to get people there to do the training, hotels, airlines, things of that nature, where we can go ahead and offer them virtual training at a much lower cost, eliminating the travel expenses. We've also found that it works very well for uh, questions and answers, which is surprising because one would think the face-to-face -face method would be better for that and in some ways it can be but we found it to be very effective virtually as well and we can actually send questions out to the people by the computer and have them answer those questions and we can share those results it's it's a feature called polling which works very very well with the virtual mode You know, we've been able to, to closely replicate the benefits of the face-to-face -face meetings and, and training. We're able to ask questions, get responses from the actual students. We still incorporate our worksheets, which we have a worksheet at the end of every module, and we're able to uh, go over that worksheet. Generally, we have two trainers that are providing the virtual training experience. We have one as your local salesman, the person that calls on you as a company you're familiar with and understands your particular needs and requirements. And then myself, also involved as a backup in case we do have some kind of technical issue, we've got a redundancy there. Mozilla currently offers 11 different modules. We talk about the logistics of a lift, the important considerations, centers of gravity. We talk about all different types of lifting slings, wire rope slings, chain slings, and synthetic slings. We get into the hardware. We talk about below the hook lifting devices and cranes. So all these subjects are available to you as the customer. And we custom design the particular training program for your needs. For instance, you might say, we want a heavy emphasis on come-alongs or on overhead cranes. We're having some problems in our facility with our employees understanding the safe usage of those products. So we're able to put together a custom program for you, two hours, three hours, four hours or more, and make sure that we maximize the information that's provided to you during this time. 
So hopefully that helps give you a clear understanding of the gear that you need to access our training, in addition to what the experience is gonna be like for you and your students. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to Bob or anyone in our training division to ask any questions that you may have about technical requirements, pricing, and availability. Make sure you subscribe to the Lifting and Rigging channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.